Hey, this is Darken. For this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to paint wood. Or actually, I guess it's technically called lumber since it's cut into a plank. But anyway, so I'm using this um, textured brush that I got from one of my friends. And I'm just painting in um, Photoshop CS3. And I'm just blocking in the main shape of the plank right now using uh, a little bit of a desaturated orangish color. And when you're painting wood, one of the things to think about is the the shape of it and also are you trying to paint smooth wood or textured wood? Like what is the purpose of this in your illustration? And for this one I just wanted to do a really rough textured plank of wood. That's why I'm using this textured brush. And the thing about wood is that it has a lot of different things going on in it. It has um, lots of knots, um, splits, nicks, little holes. So adding those type of things can really help sell the idea that this is wood that you're painting. Now I'm going to go in with a lighter color and I'm going to start um, pulling out some of these edges along the splits. Usually when you have a split in a piece of wood the edges of it are going to be lighter than the rest of the wood. And I'm also trying to add in some sharper edges since it's pretty rough. Like the textured brush made it a little fuzzy around the edges. And things, so I'm just going in and sharpening those areas up a little bit. Now the reason I'm painting this all by hand and not using any, you know, Photoshop filters or tricks or photo overlays or anything is because I tend to not use any of those types of things. I usually just paint everything by hand. I, I was trained traditionally in oils and watercolors and just traditional media, so I never really used those types of tricks when I started painting digitally. Like, I just always painted everything by hand. So I'm going back in now and adding in some little holes and some nicks and splits in the wood and those things. And then once I have the dark areas of the split or the hole, then I'm adding in little highlights around the edges. I'm thinking that this piece of wood could be like in an old house or maybe it's part of like an old ship or something. That's why it's so beat up looking and rough. There's lots of little pieces of damage on it and all that. So right now I'm duplicating the background and I'm setting it to overlay just to darken up the image a little bit and it gives it a little more saturation as well. And I'm also going in and upping the saturation. So I'm adding a new layer and going back and pulling out some of the lighter areas since the overlay made everything darker. I'm going to fix this bottom part here. It was too much of a weird angle. I'm just going to try and level it out a little bit.
So the wood is still looking a little dull and not enough contrast, so I'm adding a new layer and setting that to overlay. And I'm going to pick a more saturated reddish orange color and I'm going to paint in um, some of this color around the middle of the plank. A lot of times around the knots and just towards the middle of the, the splits, it's going to be darker and more saturated and then the edges of the splits are going to be a little bit lighter. And for the lighter part, I just added another layer and I set that to color dodge and I'm using a middle tone gray to paint in the lights. Now it also depends on you know what type of wood you're trying to paint. So you may not want it to be the saturated or this bright. So it just really depends on who you're using it for. And that's a little glimpse at how to paint wood. I hope that helped. Thanks.